Hi, it's Bill Cole with Cole Roofing, and I'm here today with Emlyn Stansel. And uh, Emlyn, why don't you tell everybody what you do? Uh, I work in my family business. We make engineered soils. We manufacture soils for a number of markets, including the green roof market. So we make a soilless, so a soilless dirt uh, to put on the roofs, and I'll explain what that is. <laughs> so the draw today is you're seeing the place where the dirt comes from. Although from now on we're not allowed to call it dirt, right? We're not call dirt. It media. We call it media. Roof media. Mm -hmm. Or planting uh, medium. Planting medium. Uh -huh. Okay. Planting medium, and uh, we install this before we put the plants, and this is uh, what helps the plants survive up on the roof. So. That's right. That's right. So just like on the ground, where in the garden you have soil and you need to have some place for the plants to put its roots uh, or their roots, then you need the same thing on a roof. And just like soil on the ground is the skin of the earth, what we're doing is creating an elevated landscape to create a, a, a sort of to, it's biomimicry to create that on a rooftop uh, so plants can be really happy. And the, the really essential part of the media being um, really specialized is that as a stormwater management tool, it is the most uh, important part of that roof assembly in holding and then slowly uh, it, it holds the rainwater and then slowly discharges it if, if the plants don't use it all. So it's a great way to keep the stormwater and all the sediment and all the contamination that's part of stormwater away from the bay and the sewers and all that stuff. Right, because we've talked in the past in some of our blogs and other things about the idea of stormwater management and that's part of the, the big key that we're doing with the vegetative. So the soil you know, the plants, I guess they drink the water and the mm -hmm. rainwater, but it's really the, the soil that helps us hold the yeah, water. Yeah, it has two functions. So the soil uh, is meant to sustain plant life, so a place for the roots to sit and the plants to be happy and uh, have their food and water. Uh, it's also meant to hold, the, so in a storm event, you get anywhere from, you can get one inch or you can get six inches, and on a parking lot or on a regular, a con what we call a conventional roof, that water goes immediately into the downspouts and then out into whatever, um, either in a city, in an urban environment, you would go straight into the storm drain or in a parking lot it might go into a stormwater management pond. But it's essentially like flushing a toilet because it, the water goes so quickly. And what the soil does, uh, or the media does on a green roof, is it captures the water the plants take up what they need through evapotranspiration. So basically it takes the water up, the plants are drinking, and then um, some of the water is evaporating and the plants actually are making the air cooler above the roof because of that transfer. And then the remainder of the water is held in the substrate there before it goes out slowly. So the big key in a green roof is not that no water goes back into the storm system, but that it goes back very slowly and it holds a lot of the media it, it is uh, able to filter the stormwater so a lot of that sediment that would normally come off of a roof is held in the media. Can you give us like 30 seconds on where we are and, and okay. how you got to roof media? Oh gosh yeah so this was originally a sand and gravel mine started by my grandfather in 1934 and uh, we are three generations in and decided that what was more interesting to us and more sustainable in the long run was to manufacture soils that uh, give back to the environment because we were taking from it for a long time and it's really um, really fun to be reskinning the earth uh, if you will and uh, so we're here at the original site of the mine um, and this is where we blend our soils and we bring in lots of different components combine them send them back out again <laughs> Uh, so we've got some soil samples here, I guess, and some media that you're going to mm -hmm. kind of break down for us. Yeah, these are all uh, green roof substrates. This is uh, the extensive mix, that is the low profile soil, About they usually have it about four inches. This is intensive, so it can go as deep as several feet. And this is a new mix that we call the M55, which is a super, super light mix, and it only weighs 55 pounds per cubic foot saturated. So that um, is really, really light, and it helps to use a lightweight mix on roofs that are not new construction, but when you're trying to retrofit an old roof that can't support a lot of weight. We can certainly help you with the physical properties and, and what what the weight requirement is for the roof, for example. We can tailor a mix to that. And you, you can let us know like the, the weight, the what we expect from a weight standpoint, mm -hmm. so we can go and find out and make sure what the capacity of the roof would be. Exactly. And fit the right soil. Yeah, exactly. Very cool.
Yeah, and you can tailor it, I mean, heavier or lighter. Usually the heavier stuff is less expensive, the lighter stuff is more expensive. Well, I just want to say thanks for having us out to your, to your plant and helping us learn all about our, our roof media. It was our pleasure. It was wonderful. Thanks for coming. Okay, thanks.